under generalized seizure we have discussed absence absence seizure now we'll discuss myoclonic seizure okay it is another an important entity now what is a myoclonus myoclonus is a sudden brief electric shock like contraction myoclonus is a sudden brief electric shock like contraction now imagine you have made a cup of tea okay now you are going to take a sip but suddenly there is a sudden brief shock like contraction of your hands and everything is on the floor okay so uh, this just imagine this i know it is hard but you have to do this okay so myoclonus sudden electric brief electric shock like contraction it can be subtle but can progress to very dramatic okay now the important facts you have to remember what is loc in myoclonic epilepsy loc is impossible to determine impossible to determine so i will say that loc will not occur okay but very impossible very very short period of time so very impossible to determine and i will go if uh, the question comes i will go that i will go with that uh, loc will not occur in myoclonic uh, myoclonic epilepsy okay number 2 it is a uh, part of epileptic form syndrome and which syndrome yes i think all of you know juvenile myoclonic epilepsy i will get back to this later juvenile myoclonic epilepsy myoclonic seizure is a part of epileptic form syndrome and that is juvenile myoclonic epilepsy okay what's it myoclonic seizure can be associated with gtcs generalized tonic clinic seizure or absence seizure and don't need it just remember this but i think this will not be asked okay so now coming to juvenile myoclonic epilepsy jme now i am giving you another scenario a boy who goes to tuition every day in the morning he gets ready he will take the bag full of books then he will go to ride his bicycle his parents are watching suddenly when he rides the cycle just when he starts to pedal he falls on the ground okay he rides the bicycle just when he starts to pedal he falls on the ground his parents not- notice that okay so why did he fall on the ground yes because a sudden contraction and that is called myoclonic jerk okay myoclonic jerk it is usually more in upper limb than lower limb just remember these facts now i am coming to facts medicine is all about facts just um, i have given you the i have given you the concept just remember this and then re- realize and remember the facts it is most commonly seen during adolescent most important factors triggered by what triggered by sleep deprivation and typically seen during awakening these two facts will be mentioned in the question and the answer is going to be juvenile myoclonic epilepsy okay it is triggered by sleep deprivation typically seen during awakening just remember this it is a very important fact okay it is usually respond to drugs 
and you have to give Raghav Chaudhary's well poet for lifetime. Respond to drugs, well poet for lifetime. Okay. Yes, it can be asked. And E G, what will you see? E G. In absence is there. We have seen that there is a three hard slow spike in activity. Here that there here it is also spike and wave activity, but there is slight difference. There will be poly spike and wave activity, not three hertz slow hertz. It is poly spike and wave activity. Okay, so that's it. It's a very important topic for MCQ myoclonus myoclonic epilepsy and then it is a part of epileptiform syndrome juvenile myoclonic epilepsy okay thank you